Okay, now I'm going to try to draw the graph of the tortoise and the hare, but putting them together on the same graph. So to do that, you have to create the equations differently so that both of the coordinates, the x and the y, are defined in the same way for both animals. So the equation for the tortoise ends up being y equals 0.01x, simple one to create, but the, the equation for the hare is y equals 1.2x minus 480. This can make it work. So we have to define our variables, of course. X is the number of minutes and y equals the number of kilometers covered. Now to graph it, the problem is the scaling of the x-axis. I'm going to draw my y-axis. And that's going to be kilometers covered. I'll just write kilometers on here. And I'm going to draw the x-axis quite long. And that is time in minutes. I'll show 5k on the y-axis. What happens is the tortoise starts from time zero and eventually gets to this 5k level. And we already know that takes 500 minutes. The hare has a zero of 480. So starts way over here. So this is 500. The hare starts at 480. And has an x of 484.17 and of course a y of 5 when he crosses the finish line. Okay, I screwed up the first time I tried to draw the line, so I'm trying again. It looks more like this. So therefore the tortoise's finish is shown here and the hare's finish is shown there. Now there's also the point of intersection. And the question can ask for that. And if the question asks after how many minutes, for instance, did the hare pass the tortoise on the way to the finish line, you would have to do comparison to answer that correctly with algebra. Trying to answer it with the graph is a little bit awkward. As you can see, it's hard to even draw it. So I'm going to show the comparison here. 0.01x equals 1.2 times x minus 480. This is 1.2x minus 576. Doing a bit of algebra, 576 equals 1.2x minus 0.01x, which is 1.19x. And then we divide both sides by 1.19. These cancel and x is equal to 484.0336. Not the same number as the 484.17, but awfully close. It means from the time that the hair starts, it takes the hair four minutes and 4.0336 .0336 minutes to pass the tortoise, and then another 0.16 or so minutes to actually hit the finish line. And that's very hard to show graphically, 
And it's because our zeros are stretched so far apart in this situation because the tortoise is so much slower than the hare. Another thing I can do is I can do a, an expansion of this part of the graph. And it'll look something like this. That's not very good. Let's make this one a little lower. Because of course, both of these things are happening when y is equal to five. So they're equal in height above the x-axis. So we have 484.17 comma five for the hair's finish right here. And we have 500 comma five for the tortoise's finish over there. And here's the point of intersection, which happens when X is equal to 484 0.0336 and the y if we plug this into one of the original equations we get a y of 4.840336 that's going to be the y coordinate of this point which I can't show even in my expanded view of the graph. So this is actually quite complicated to do, but of course, if you have watched the entire sequence of video about the tortoise and the hare, you understand that this is just one of the ways to successfully solve this problem. And we can avoid this situation if we want, simply by calculating the tortoise's head start separately. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.